Hey everybody, it's John from Hockey Cards Only. Hey, how are you guys doing today? Hope everybody's doing fine. Today I hope I have an exciting episode for you. We will be sorting Junk Wax era cards. We did get a huge collection of this stuff and so far I've been able to find quite a few uh, big names. Okay, uh, the last group we did was mainly vintage. Okay, now this is going to be the 90 and newer stuff. Kind of like this uh, this upper deck here from 91, 92. So hopefully there's a lot of upper deck in here. Hopefully we find some young guns, some Yager rookie cards. That would be cool. Some Opeachy Premier. So I know that's in this stuff. The stacks look kind of like this from the side which we've all seen that before. You have a little bit of 90 score in there, a lot of pro set. So I'm gonna to try to make rhyme to reason here. I think I like to do oldest to newest, okay, on the board. And I'd like, I like to do score, upper deck, pro set, kind of the same way. So I'll probably do like a row of upper deck and a row or a row this way. I'll probably do 90. 91 92 so let's put upper deck 91 here and we'll pro put pro set 91 there this is tops opg 90 so that'll go over here and hopefully may, most of this is opg and we will have an easy sort going through here because then when you have tops mixed in with it, it gets kind of hard here. I'm just going to uh, slide through some of these. Here's a McGillney rookie. This is pretty much what we're looking for in that. Uh, I think there's a couple other big name rookies in here. We'll see them as they come through. I think it's Curtis Joseph is a big one. Adam Oates. That seems to be it. This one, there's a Sergei Fedorov. So I'm going to put these actually here. And we will keep putting those guys there as they go. I'm really not going to read off a lot of names. The big names we will. Chris Chelios, for instance. That goes to 90 Pro Set. I'm gonna grab this whole stack here. See if we see anybody of interest. Okay, Whitmore. Oh, that's a rookie card. Here's Jeremy Roenick. Second year card. Adam Graves, not his rookie. Bradshaw, Pat LaFontaine. Murray, Johnson, Morris, Kelly, Lamb, Brian Trotter, and Peter Talagnetti. We'll keep all these together. This is one of the least expensive sets in hockey. Actually, all this stuff is going to be the least expensive set in hockey. Um, the score in Upper Deck 90 are probably the two... Well, I should say uh, uh, Opeachy Premier is by far the most valuable, okay? For 90. The second would be Upper Deck. But this group of score right here um, happens to have a Yager uh, rookie that's pretty important. I'll get these closer to the, to the camera. Nothing so far. So 90 score. Man, I don't think I have enough room to do four of them. To move all of these up, upper deck. We will have a lot of, well, we have our pro sets here, our upper deck there, we have our score. So we here we have our upper, first couple upper deck cards that are for that year. They're going to end up going right there. Bill Ranford. Aaron Routine and Jimmy White. White. 
Kurt Miller will go there. Here's our score 91. Hey, here's a Joe Sackett card. Put that there. Okay, we have a Brian. Prop. Let's grab these here. See what we have. Ron Hexnall. Joe Nuichuk. I believe this card is a rookie. It's the end of his first year. Chris Chelios, there's a John Van Beesbrook, David Bullock, Brent Sutter, Peter Sidorzik, and Sylvain Turgeon. So there you go. We can go there. Now we have some of these vintage pro set cards that everybody sets aside because they're the only Terry Sawchuck card they'll ever get. Here's an Iserman. Not doing too bad on those. Darren Pupa. There's another Terry Sawchuck. Al McGinnis. Troy Murray. Mike Richter. This set you can maybe get a... Uh, here's a Stastny. You can get a Pavel Bure rookie card in this. Wayne McBean. Bob Probert. Not his rookie. These are 92s. Dun, 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 dun. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Kelly Johansson and Micah Pavinky. Pat LaFontaine. Some pro set here. Dirk Graham, Paul Kyrie, Tim Chevadale, Claude Lemieux, Olin Nolan. Is this his rookie? Is not his rookie. It is his rookie. Set that aside in honorable rookies. I'll put this uh, Iserm in there too. Here's a Mike Ricci. That's a rookie also. I say think so. Ranford, Neil Broteen. Broten, I guess. Kelly Hurdley, Rob Blake, Al Iber. Now these are not real expensive cards, y'all. Probably. $15 for the complete upper deck set, or I'm sorry, pro set set. Um, what I would like to be able to do is sell a bunch of sets like a hockey card kit. And it's a complete set of pro set, score, maybe some upper deck, some of the junk wax era. That way you just have one of everything if you don't have any cards. And they're so cheap, you know, um... It's not like it'd be more than a hundred bucks for probably ten sets of these things. I shouldn't say ten, maybe six. Six of them at fifteen dollars. Then you have all of them. So far, not so good. Not like we're gonna find anything too spectacular when we're running through pro set. So I'm just gonna kind of go at this pace here not read any names. There's Mark Messier. It's racing. There's a Ray Bork. I don't know if that's worth pulling out of there. And a Joe Mullen. Okay. Well, we'll put that there. Where are we at now? Let's grab this stack. The stack seems to be a lot of the same. Opeachy. And then a huge run, it looks like, of these pro sets again. Here's Pat Verbeek, Dennis Savard, Kelly Johansson, Peter Svidoboroja, Mark Kamoya, Savard, Mimoso, Koma, Mike Rishi, Pat LaFontaine, Mike McPhee, Adam Oates. Wayne Gretzky, Ray Bork again. I'm going to leave him in there. Guy Lafleur. So this set has a Guy Lafleur in it. So if you're a collector or trying to get your kids into collecting, you can get them these pro set. Paul Coffey's in here. You know, Wayne Gretzky's in here. 
some of the old ones, some of the new ones, and then you have these vintage pro set uh, cards as well. Spatis off. Mike Vernon. He started in 87. But yeah, you have a really good spread of players in pro set. Some people hate pro set. And I almost want to say it's probably one of the best ever made because they're so cheap and it's a pretty wide group of players, especially with, with these throwback cards in there too. And it's McGilney's second year card. First year pro set, you do get a McGilney and a Sergey Fedorov rookie card and a few other people. The second year, you get a Pavel Bure rookie card. I think Peter Bondra, it might be in here. Trevor Linden, there's the Patrick Waugh card. Damp Palace, here's another Gretzky winning a trophy. I believe that's the Art Ross, I'm not sure by looking at it. Glad Healy, and... So, it's a good set, it's got a lot, it's pretty much got everybody. Pretty much has everybody. But, people want to hate on it. All pro sets junk. Yes. They're not very expensive. But, they're collectible. I know people who have a stack of Sergei Fedorovs from, <clears throat> from, a, from pro set. So here's some tops. Check that out, how they look about the same. So I'm going to keep these separate right here than the OPG cards. Oh, this is going to be a nightmare. We have a little bit of everything here. The other cool thing, you have these, which are uh, referee cards. Those are fun. Wait a minute. I don't know. Yeah, they're in the 90. The difference is right here. They have the color-coded top. Ron Wilson. These are those. Color-coded top. 90. Everybody remembers their first box pro set. If you've ever had it. Kind of like these are a little different. Score, I would say, did a better job on being colorful. Are uh, brighter, I'd say. They're a little brighter. Some pro sets just feel a little dark and a little depressing. Mainly because there's so many of them and they don't have a lot of value. But you can find $2 cards in pro set. I think there's a couple. Not like that's a big score. But if you're dealing with 10 cent cards, which is pretty much what these things all are. Baseball. He goes, uh oh, here we go, guys. Vincent Damphouse. A Opeachy Premier. See how this is gold at the top? I don't know if I can get you to see this even better because my camera is only good about a foot away. But that's Premier. These are what we're actually looking for in this. Those are the really expensive per set. So that's about the only 90s. I mean, if you get names in, in that, you're doing okay. That's the one where you can get a $60 Yarmer Yager rookie card. Everything else. Oh, here we go. Here's a run. Joe Niewichuk. This is his rookie card, I believe. No. But it's in a premiere. Bob Essena. Only got two or three of those in here, though. Let's get these scorecards right there. Here's a banger scorecard of Cam Neely. Here's an Olin Nolan rookie card. Some set him there with the big boys. Darren Hatcher rookie card. Paul Coffey, you can go over there. Here's the Penguins winning the Stanley Cup. That goes there. Mike Kane. Chris Rutu. Hunter. The Islanders. The Canucks. And Cujo's rookie card, I think. Yes. 
Cujo Rookie Pro Set. So this is one of the more expensive Pro Set cards right here, if you have them. When I mean expensive, I, I should just say it has the highest value in the set. Um, a $2 Curtis Joseph card is not expensive technically, but hey, it's worth more than 10 cents or 5 cents, can, which is what a normal card is technically worth if it's a nobody. So not too bad there. Okay, let's grab this set here and see what do we have. Pro set. I'm just going to throw pro sets right in front of me because they're easy to... John Muckler for the Edmonton Oilers. Joe Mullen. We have here Doug Wilson. Wayne Presley. Referee cards. Uh-oh. Who do we have here in Premier? Rick Green. At this rate, we might get all 160 Premier cards. Pro set. I'll just be happy with the Yager. Get cooking here on these. There is a Mike Madano that looks like that in Pro Set, which is the one of the sought after. Sought after would be the word. Pro Set cards. These are all upside down. What we got going here? Cortinol, Hexnol, Graves. Da -da 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 -da. Da -da 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 -da. One Healy, El McGinnis. Brent Ashton and traded. Do do do. Let's keep moving. So far, we are what? 20 minutes in almost. We're making progress. We'll get these sorted in no time flat. Especially if I have a bunch. If I go through. And I'm just kind of keeping them in order. A lot of these are already in groups of the same type, like these. And I can do 10 of them, stack them. Instant win game. I gotta get you rid of you. What do we have? Hey, a Young Guns card. Ha! Ha ha ha. Who do we have? Steven Matthew. Young Guns rookie card from Upper Deck 90. This is the year Sergei Fedorov, Lindstrom, and Pavel Bure have a Young Guns card. So we'll set that there as our biggest interesting score so far. Do 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 a an Upper Deck. Finally, not a lot of Upper Deck in here so far, guys. I thought there'd be a lot of score. Seems to be a lot of pro set. Which, whatever. Brennan Shanahan's pro set card. Let's keep on... Oh, right here. Keep on trucking. John Casey. Ray Bork. I'll leave him in there. Tom Barrasso. I'll leave him in there, too. Vintage... Who is this? Ah, oh, shoot, I dropped it. Dave Taylor. I do not know Dave Taylor. There's Joe Sackick. So Mark Messier. A Ronick. A Wilson. I don't know Wilson. Sambo, I heard of him. Jeff Norton. Ah. Forever Linden. Let's do every other one, guys. Look at that. Every other card here. Joe Chuck, Dave Mason, Paul Yizabert, No Name, No Name, Derek King, and Cole. Rob Brown. Bunch of Pro Set. Okay, let's keep on trucking. This is a little bit of Pro Set. 
No big names here so far. There's a Madonna. Not like I'm going to pull him out. It is not his rookie. There's a Brett Hall. Paul Coffey and a Chris Chelios, a Cam Neely, a Ranford. Interesting little run there. Now here's 90 score. Move those out of there too. Let's see if we can find a Yager. Here's a Theo Fleury. Haven't seen him in a while. Ron Sutter. Tim Waters. Rod Langway. Chris Chelios. I'll get these up here. There's a Patrick Waugh. There's another Patrick Waugh. Bill Barber Hall of Famer card. Reggie Lemlin. Oh, come on. Perry Burzan. Doug Wilson. Look how they're moving in the... It's probably cool back in 1990. Brian Trotter. Not a bad little run there. Put him with those. And it looks like we have some more score, but from the next year up. Who do we have here? Kit Miller. No Sergei Fedorov so far, and no Pavel Berets so far. Hey, we have Mario Lemieux. Put him in here or somebody to get sleeved. It's probably the best card in the set, outside of Gretzky. And outside of, Pavel Bure has a card from Score, but I believe it is in Series 2. Here's a... Here's some good stuff here. We have a Patrick Waugh, Mike Madonna, a Wayne Gretzky, Mark Messier, and John... The franchise card. I'm just going to put him in the regulars kaboom and wham and smash cool I'll put those here let's grab this little stack it's pro set Dino Cicerelli Scott Stevens Kurt Gillies I'll turn these around Randy Wood Roenick Matthew, Bradshaw, and Scott Young, Mark Rishi, and a, who is this again, Ed Belford, yes, Eddie B, who do we have here, the first Zamboni, the guy with a shovel, <laughs> Gary Sutter, Theo Fleury, Brian Skukrand. Some people I don't know. Here's a Brett Hall from Upper Deck. 9091. I'll throw him there. Dale Howard Chuck. A couple Dale Howard Chucks. Those in Upper Deck. Pro Set Mario McCoy. Hey, look at. See, here's an old card. This was in that same this was this old card was there's a bunch of this type of stuff in here so i'm gonna put him up there for now he doesn't get sorted here's a pat lafontaine and a rob blake bill ranford dino cicerelli trevor linden bill ranford the dog's trying to leave I'm just trying to get out of here all right. Making stacks of pro sets and score. Whoop de do, huh? Here's the Ray Bort card. Pretty cool. Here's the Lemieux card. Pretty cool. It's upper deck. Is that 90? 
write some score. Kelly, this. These are all tops. Is this, is this one a tops? Yeah, it's tops. Tops goes here. Here, my dog wanting out. Princess, come here. You want to be on YouTube? Princess, come here. Psst, psst. She just wants to whine. That's what she wants to do. She's just going to do it. I could let her out the door. But she is just going to yip and yip and yell. Here's Patrick Waugh. It's probably the only card I'll sleeve. Unless we get a Yager. Princess, come on now. I'm yelling at my dog on YouTube. She'll do that. She's going to do that for a minute. We kind of joke about it here at the house. She just gets bored. I got to give her a bone. Or I got to let her out of that room she's in. If she wasn't in there, she'd be barking to get in there. So she just wants to be near me. That's how doggies are. So more score 90. Coming in here. No big names though. Here is a Opeachy Premier 92. There's a couple of them, actually a good run. No big names though. Oh, hush. Da -da 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 -da. Opeachy. Princess, you wanna join us? There's Igor Larianov and Troy Tremble. And that seems to be it. I'm going to throw this stack pro set there. And here we are with Upper Deck. Okay. Ray Bork. These are Upper Deck McDonald's. These are Upper Deck McDonald's. I've never seen these. Andy Moog, Pat LaFontaine. Joe Sackick, Mark Rishi. These are a almost like a weird insert set. They have 10 at the bottom. So I'm going to set those aside. And here we have some 91 uh, upper deck. So I'm just going to slide through these. Princess, come on. Come on, I'm live streaming. I can't stop. Princess, come here. She's just gonna sit there. She's gonna sit there and whine and ruin my video. Oh well. I did let her out, and she does have food. So, she's just a whiny dog, and this episode you're gonna learn about it. She's gonna just show you that I'm gonna let her sit. <laughs> Here's some more McDonald's cards. We have Al McGinnis, Chris Chelios, Scott Stevens, Al McGinnis, Chelios, Ranford. I'm going to put those with them. Kevin Stevens. I think that's us a Tikadin. It is. 9091. Here's that Peter Bondra. Euro stars. This is special. This is actually an insert. See that right there? It's an E12 and it has a Euro stars logo on it. Ron Hexnall. Paul Rahim. Not a rookie. Oh, there's another. Euro Stars card with that E number. That's kind of interesting. I've never seen those. I don't think I've ever opened a box. Actually, I have opened one box of 91, 92 Upper Deck. Here's a Patrick Waugh that needs a sleeve. Princess, you giving up yet? You're going to come out here and hang out with us? Come here. It's a Ray Bork. I got a putter. Hey, come here, puppers. Come here and say hi to YouTube. You don't gotta be yelping. We're just sitting here. Here, I'm gonna let her out. You can see this door open. <laughs> I 
There we go. She's out. Okay. Close the. Move my light. Get back to it. Hi, everybody. We're back. We let the dog out of the bedroom. So far, we're getting a couple, couple big names. Nothing too crazy. We've pulled a couple Gretzkys. That's about as good as you can get. And we can get some, some rookies out of here. But mainly just getting these sorted from the garbage pile they were. Which, you know, you can see there's like two cards from this year. And a couple, OP here's a big long, it's going to be a long run of OPG is what it looks like, but it's just like a long run in this is like 25 cards. So let's go through here. Peter Stastny, Clint Malro Chuck, Joe Neuachuk, Guy LaFleur, Tim Murray, Randy Le something, Raheem Lemlin, Darren Krimble, Glenn Anderson, Hub, is that Hubby McDowell? Hubby McDonut? Is that this guy's name? Look. Hubby McDonut. Hubby McDonut. Okay, well, we got a Hubby McDonut. Um, Sean Burke. Adam Greg Adams. John Van Beesbrook. There's a Paul Coffey. Joe Murray. There's a Mike Madonna. That's got to come out because that's his rookie card. Is it Glenn Healy? No. This card's not in the greatest shape. Ryan McLean. Gerard Gerard Mike Kane. The Whalers. And that's it for those. There will be more. Tons more. That is Opeachy 1990. And we have pulled the Madano rookie card. I will show this camera the back and this camera the front. Where is the sweet spot? Right there. If I turn it more, I got to bring it back. I got to bring it up. Right there is the sweet spot. <laughs> Mike Bonanno rookie card. Cool. All right, let's keep going. We got a Wendell Clark in 90 score. We have Ron Sutter, Darren Papa, Pupa, I think is how you pronounce it. I'm not sure. Just keep on going through here. Neil Chuck, Andrew Bain, Ron Hexall. Big Junk Wax era collection going down here. Some Mike Garner, Neil Brotein, Broten, Gillies, Dino Cicerelli, Brian Leach. Neil Broten, and that is our run of score. Now let's check out these. We have some Premier right here. Oh, sweet, we have a Curtis Joseph Premier. 92, though. That's not a cheap card. These 92s are not nearly as rare as the 90s, okay? There we go. So I thought it was Mr. Plante, Jacques Plante. Here's the Patrick Law card. Dennis Savard card. We have an Iserman coming up. Pro set Iserman. Not too shabby. Let's put it in the sweet spot. <laughs> Wait, too far. It's all about being there. Screw it. Uh, Rob Blake and a Mike Madano. Second year card for Mike Madano. Here's the Lemieux. 
little sleeve Mario Lemieux. Alexander McGillney, not so much. It's his second year card. So, we'll do that. Keep on trucking. We got a Ray Bork. Who do we have here? I don't know. It's cut off. It's too bad. Venza. The Venza Trophy. Kurt Miller, Ron Wilson, Rob Blake. Upper Deck. I mean, Pro Set, my bad. Now we have Upper Deck. Star Rookie. Andrew Castles and Michael Montague and John Morris. So star Rookies. I'm just going to still put them in with the... Actually, that's the wrong pile. See how they have Star Rookie there? I'll put them there because it's... So these are like kind of like young guns, <clears throat> but they're not young guns. I shall set them aside. Mm, I shall not. I shall set them with the 90 upper deck. They'll just be in there because I don't really think they need sleeved. Technically, what do we have here? Pro set 90. Okay. This has a lot of diversity right here, everybody. Pro set. Ron S Sutter and score. Let me just grab. That's like a completely new card right there. Timu Solani. These are new cards. I'm going to just set that aside for a second. And we'll get rid of these upper deck. See what we have here is a Ray Shepard. These are all 90-91. Pat Murray, no names. Here we have a bunch of no names again. Score. Now what do we have here? Daniel Sundin. Canuck. What year is this? 2008. So this is his seventh season. But this card says 8 of 10 and it's in French. So that's kind of a weird card. Set that there. Nice. Dominic Hashik Retro. Put that there. It doesn't really belong here. Here's a Jeremy Roenick. Set that there. Now here's something interesting. It's a Steve Iserman and a Stadium Club. And this thing is in good enough shape to put a sleeve right on it. This is kind of an old card. Right behind it, it looks like a Mike Madano. Okay. This could be his rookie. It is not. It's in really good shape, though. So he's going to get a sleeve. I don't mind Top Stadium Club. They're kind of the... I don't, I don't know if these were considered better. Here's a Joe Sackick. But what do we have here? Here's another Joe Sackick. And a Bobby Orr. Hey! Ha! Bobby Orr for the Boston Bruins. I'm so glad I wore the jersey. I was like... Ray Bork? Should I put Ray Bork on the back of this thing? No. I should put Bobby Orr. But I kind of have the new the newer-ish jersey from 1998 probably is when this jersey was made. It's <laughs> This jersey is a starter jersey. It's not a really high quality jersey. I think I got it at like a TJ Maxx <laughs> when I was younger. Which, hey man... I'm buying jerseys on Goodwill auction right now for 20, 30 bucks. I'm having a great time doing it. So um, I can get three times or four times as many jerseys that way compared to just buying them um, 120 something dollars shipped. So there's your Joe Sackick card. So that's what I'm doing. Now 
Just throw him there in the discard of stars. This is a... What year is this? 2003 Upper Deck. Superstars. Joe Sackick Avalanche. I'm going to throw it right there with that one. It seems that there's a couple big names just randomly in here. Oh, peachy. Like, here's a Ray Bork card. Here's some blood on his face. Conference card. Brian Leach. Peter Erickson. Ron Francis. 90-92, wrong year. Did I put all these in the wrong year? I believe I did almost. It should start there. And with the, the Ray Bork and all that, these all go here. This goes there, and the Central Red Army goes all the way up, up here. Let's see if I have the Sergei card. Nope, do not. It's okay, I'll put them over here for now so you can all see those. I will put my sleeves there. Greg Janney. Hmm. John Tucker, Craig Janney, Theo Fleury. He's an 88 rookie, for those who want to know. Okay, what do we got here? Niwichuk, another Red Army card. A couple Red Army cards. Who did we get? Oh, we got Herve. And Dimitri Krishnov. There's the Urbe card. Red Army. Luke Robitaille and Tops. Jim Johnson. And here is a Iserman. We'll give him a sleeve. Joe Sackick. We'll give him a sleeve. I don't know. Torchier. Not Wendell Clark, though. And not Fatisov. And not Vernon. And not Dino. Okay, we're getting to the end of not just this episode, but of these cards. So take a minute. Subscribe to the channel. Okay, if you're a card hunting YouTube channel and you give me a shout out, I will be happy to send you some cards. Or if you want to do vice versa, send me something interesting. I will give you a shout out. But right now I don't have really a lot of subscribers. So you'd pretty much want me to send you stuff. And I would need the shout out. Here's a Gordie Howe. Everybody remembers this Pro Set Gordie Howe card. That's what I'm saying. If Pro Set is a great beginner set still to this day it's cheap it's got pretty much everybody in it there's a steve eiserman uh it's got some of your older players your newer players all the way up to maybe well your rookie yarmor yager is still technically playing so you have potentially players that are still playing you know but not he he kind of retired from the nhl a few years ago so I doubt anybody is still really playing, but they were until a few years ago. A lot of Hall of Famers. All right, what do we have here? Dirk Graham gets the Frank J. Selleck Trophy. Huh. Brad Brandamore. What year did he grow? 87. Dave Anderchuk. And that is a big stack of pro set, my friends. The 
punchline. That's cool. Arena designs, I don't know. Ray Bork. And a Wayne Gretzky. He gets sleeved. Benza does not get a sleeve. Let's see what we have. Al McGinnis. Brian Leach. Dave Reed. And at the very end of the list, at the bottom of the pile here, looks like we had a Shanahan, Markinoff, and a Jamie McCoon. So, everybody, we did get some Gretzkys, so that's not the end of the world. We didn't get our Yammer Yager Opeachy Premier 90, okay? One of the raddest sets of the 90. These are not the Junk Wax era. Well, it's the era, but these are not Junk Wax. These are the ones that if you're going, oh, my 90 hockey cards aren't worth anything, make, there, there were something. Everything's worth something. It just, they're not... 1952 baseball cards going up to ten thousand dollars these things they mass produced so even if they're in good shape psa 10 i really don't think they're that valuable you know the we could talk about that i think psa now that's the end of the episode here let me see if i can do this up close oh that's this let's do this here aha hey now you can see me up here We'll talk about PSA graded cards and the up to 10 million PSA cards that they have currently that are all on their way back. So, grading these cards even at a 10, sure, eBay says $200 PSA 10, but you can still buy a box of this for 20 bucks. Pull it out, and if it's centered, you'll, you know, in a box, you're going to get two of everything. So they're not really worth that much. They're just asking that much, okay? Now, people saw that they were asking that much and some of them sold. So everybody has been trying to send their junk wax to get graded. Some stuff isn't junk wax that they're sending, that's okay, send it, okay? Some stuff you have to make sure, you know, if it's a five or a seven, it's a huge difference in price. But sending a Sergei Fedorov rookie card or a Pavel Bure Young Guns, they're already graded. Just save your money and buy one that's already graded. The price should be slowly dropping. Every day, every day. You, you watch YouTube, man. Watch every day. People are going to be like, my, my PSA submission's back. And they're going to be getting them. And what do you think they're going to do with those? Keep them? No. They're trying to sell them. They're not trying to keep them to buy oh you know they're they're trying to make as much money as everybody's trying to do that's why they're doing it i'm trying to make money i'm not gonna lie i'm trying to do my strategy is a little different than um most people's i'm gonna try to sell outside of ebay i don't want to get hit with ebay fees but ebay is a necessary evil so some stuff works on ebay I don't want to sell because it's a 17% out of your profit or your sale price. So I want to launch my website, which carries mainly all of this. All of these cards, they're all on the website, but none of, the, none of these are really expensive. So the website needs older cards, like the stuff I did last episode. Everything in the 80s, everything in the 70s. When that's done, we'll launch the site I'm going to try to take cash app and not even take credit card payments. I, credit card processor, I have too much of a risk at just um, dealing with dispute. The disputes with credit card processing are called chargebacks. A chargeback is a pain in the butt compared to a PayPal dispute. It's just a little bit different. I think you get a fee, okay, like a $36 fee. Um, you have to show that it got shipped. They're never, it just, it's not even as secure as PayPal. Cash app, I believe to be like a wire transfer Bitcoin payment, okay? Now, <clears throat> if I send you something mail and you claim you didn't get it, you chose to order it with a stamp on it and send it in the mail. I might have tracking for everything. I might do a minimum order and it has to have tracking. 
Um, but if you opt out of tracking and it doesn't show up, there's just nothing I can do. I'm just I'm not going to give you your money back because you because they sent you something and it was a dollar eighty and I spent that time I got the car to put it in there and I shipped it and then it got lost in the mail because you didn't order tracking. It got lost in the mail anyways via tracking or not, but at least if it got lost, we would know. So, but tracking you can do on stamps.com pretty cheap. So if I can do that and ship things like five or 10 cards for less than a dollar and it's tracked, that's exactly what I wanna do. If the card value would be over, let's say $10 or a certain amount, then I might make that have to go priority. But then we're, we're you're talking 20% of the card value is in shipping. So it's going to be up to you guys. I want to give really flexible shipping options. But if you're really cheap and don't pay for tracking, I'm going to make you opt out, not me. That's fair. Now, if I do this without PayPal, you can get screwed in a way by ordering it and not having PayPal to dispute me on. But I don't want that situation. I want everybody to pay for tracking. And I want everybody to order more than a 70 cent card. If you're ordering $5 worth of crap or a set of this for $8, however cheap I'm gonna have it, it'll be worth it to you to pay for tracking. Um, I just don't wanna deal with, if you're dealing with cards I don't, and you're doing 20 transactions a day, you just can't be constantly worrying about what happened three weeks ago. And if it goes, it goes. If And that this is all in the cheap, the cheap spectrum of like the under $10 stuff. When it gets bigger, then you can treat it like real e-commerce, but it's, cards are like micro e-commerce, okay? Um, you're not drop shipping. It's not like you don't have this stuff. You're taking someone's payment and then shipping it from a warehouse somewhere. You're not doing that. You have it. You have it right here. Um, you can ship it. People get upset that it's not nice or in nice condition. I will totally take it back, okay? If it's not in good condition, um, I probably would have a picture of it before I sent it to show it's not in good shape. What I'm afraid of is sending cards out and it was in good shape when I left here and they sent me back their bet card. I don't know if that can happen, but it's happened in e-commerce to me before. I have been in e-commerce for 15 years. I have sold stuff and the same thing from their collection got sent back to me saying it was bad. So they just didn't exchange these on me. So I didn't like that. So I started paint markering stuff to keep that from happening. This stuff you can't paint marker. So put in the comments. Here we've had, I don't know, an hour long video it's 53 minutes put in the comments if uh you have any ideas if you're a card shop and you have um the music's gonna come back here now let me do this see if i can get it to restart if you own a card company or a you know you're a small card dealer then you understand disputes and you understand the pain in the butt that can bring and you know that it can cost you money you're sending out your inventory your collection to people that i think on ebay can literally claim they just didn't get it you know if it's first class mail so i don't know exactly uh exactly how everything's gonna work but i know you are gonna have a choice on how you want it shipped and i'm gonna have a lot of this stuff where you can just pick what you want you know i'm gonna that's why I'm sorting all this. We're putting it in inventory and then we're going to slowly like we'll take this whole set of score and we will be uh, inventorying it into the website and then that brand will be live and you'll be able to order. I'm going to mainly be selling upper deck and score and tops, OPG and pro set. The Pacific stuff from 2000, I hate that stuff. Um, I don't know if I want to program that in the website. The old stuff, OPG tops, definitely, it's going to be the top stuff I do, is the vintage. The junk wax era stuff, because there's so much of it, it's easy to inventory, and a lot of people have it and want to complete sets. So I have a feeling it's a mover. This stuff will move. Uh, 
so yeah, I think that's what will end up in there. So anyways, I'm going to grab another stack of cards while we're right here, because they're just sitting here. And I, I kind of just want to keep sorting these. Here's just another stack. And I know I'm going to have to put all these away, so I might as well just sort while I'm talking to you guys about stuff. Basically, junk wax era stuff, I'm going to try to set out. When I say set, I mean I'm going to complete set and sell it for one price. And I'm going to try to make multiple complete sets and sell groups of complete sets as a hockey card gift, like a gift set. So you can literally hook a kid up with three or four different brands of cards from different eras for pretty pretty darn cheap. This is a vintage card. What's it doing in here? Look at that. It goes here. Another vintage. These are... So... 91. Alright, let's grab this chunk here. I got it. Pro set. I have a bunch of this stuff too. These really weird early classic stuff. I don't really want to sell it on the website because I have to program the entire the entire price sheet for it, and that takes a little bit of time. But those might have some interesting players. These are some fine peachy. Dennis Potvan. See? Upper deck. You can get some really old players. They're not even playing in the Hall of Fame in that group. <clears throat> Excuse me. Stan Makita. That's what I'm saying. Pro Set did not do as bad a job as everybody claims. They just overprinted, so their price is not worth a lot. But that's a double-edged sword. Now everybody can have it. So if you're a new collector, you have the opportunity to get a Sergei Fedorov rookie card for around 2 bucks. If you want the whole set, which is what you should do if you want Sergei Fedorov's rookie card, you should um, order a complete set, because a complete set upper deck, I think, is only going to be $12. So for a few dollars more, you got the whole thing. This is a weird McDonald's Eric Lindros... Rookie, the rookie year, Lanch, I don't even know what that says. It's a weird r retro card. Same for this, and same for this, Steve Iserman retro card. See how laggy my tabletop camera is compared to everything else here. 50 goals in 50 games, Brett Hall, remember that. Ryan Trot here, Patrick Waugh, he's going to get a sleeve. Uh-oh, what do we have here? Jose Ortez, NBA Hoops Basketball. Put that right there, out of here, because we don't do basketball here at Hockey Cards. Only curse basketball. We can say that. In the comments, tell me how you feel about basketball, if you want. I like having people write in the comments. Here is some Parkhurst, some Donruss, some Stadium Club, Scott Lachance, and this is Upper Deck. I have a stack of this over. I don't have a stack of this over here. I'll just put them here with this other Upper Deck. Ah. All right, Ryan Howard, Hayward, Jeremy Roenick. He is a 89 rookie and a Shaw. Sorry, I'm standing up. Just felt better. I needed to stretch my back. I've done three videos today because I haven't really been feeling real good physically. I just, it's not my throat or nothing. I just, my uh, stomach was feeling bad. Wayne Gretzky. Wayne Gretzky. The magician, according to score. So, what I was saying is I didn't feeling good. I didn't feel like going out and working hard. 
on car stuff. I do work on car stuff every now and then on a nice it's nice out. But my stomach is just what if I ate something funny? You guys don't really need to know that, but it's, that's why I'm doing a lot of videos today. And I apologize that this camera is so crappy right here. Um, I will be, uh, I have another camera already. It's just that the plug doesn't fit. Um, I need to get a different, I need to get a different cable and then it will work and we'll have some really good, you'll be able to see all these cards finally like most of the other channels out there. This will get us by for these videos where I'm just literally sorting all this crap and it doesn't really, I mean, it matters. I mean, you can see who this is. It says Craig Fisher, you know, it just, you're not going to get the clarity on the card or see the corners very well, but um, I, that's why right now I'm not really shoving the corners up in the camera. I still haven't found an Eric Lindros in the score. I do see some Opeachy down here though. Who do we have? Rob, Ramage, Brad Jones, ooh, a Brendan Shanahan. I see some behind here, some good stuff too. Here we have the Steve Iserman. That's pretty cool. Yannick Dupree. Now we have some older cards that don't really belong in this sort. I did these in the last sort, but we'll still take our time to look at them. This is Brian Leach's rookie year and same for Joe Sackick. And we did not get any of those, so that's okay. Put those with vintage. Mario McCor and a tops. Upper deck. Sean Burr, Pat LaFontaine, those are tops, not Opeachy. That's Opeachy. And here we have some 91 score. So we want Pavel Gray in these, but he's in set two. I don't exactly remember what big rookies were in this, except for Pavel Bure was in it, and he was in series two, so there's Andy Moog, Rob Brown, Yari Curry, Scott Arnell, Mike Garner, and Bob Carpenter. All 90 pro set. I just feel like sorting these guys. That's what I feel like doing, and hunting for the good cards and we're gonna get some stuff out there for sale here's some of these classic ones i'll put there kind of like non-nhl yet yari curry this is a peachy we're doing good on collecting up old peaches today that's for sure and we're definitely getting good at this tall ass set of pro set. Sutter. Wayne Presley. Matt Sundin. I don't know if this is considered his rookie. It's got his one year playing for Quebec. So I think that's not his rookie. I think his rookie is actually from the year before. I'll put him there just for the back of it. Just in case. Doug Lidster, Jimmy Carson, yep, Trevor Linden, and Steven Labru. Bam, let's do that. The last two cards of that set were Ken something and Jeff Larezo. Oh, there's still some right here. Sorry. Uh, you have a Paul Coffey Opeachy. It's pretty cool. 
This might be one of those Russian... Oh, there... Oh, I thought it said Sergei Federal. Sergei something and off. He's Russia Red Army, right? I don't know if that's where those technically go or not. Hmm. I have a feeling our Sergei is missing. And it's not in there. I've not seen it. Okay. <laughs> but we have a Ray Bork. Yippity doo da. Sean Burke. I want my Eric Lindros. No Eric Lindros in there. But we're doing pretty good. We are at one hour and six minutes. Oh. 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 Hi. Okay, so I'm gonna grab one more stack. Because if I don't, these will never get done. And I can record this and throw it up there. And just keep throwing these up there. And that lets me sort these. Because my kind of my rule I was going to do is you can't sort cards unless you're recording yourself. And then that way the cards will get done. The eBay, I'm sorry, the uh, it's not the eBay. I'm trying to build the uh, YouTube channel. will have its content of sorting a bunch of these cards. Now, I know Junk Wax Era is not the most exciting thing to, to look at. But it still is. Check out that Patrick Block art. That's cool. You know? Here's the Joe Sackick. Let's put him aside too. And here's a Sergey. Put that there. Are these all the right? Yeah, these are all the same. They go here. Oh. oh man, my stacks are getting real tall. Which is kind of what I need, but. Checklist. 91. Here we have a rookie. Star rookie. Uh, Chris Taylor. I'll put him with the weird rookies. Hockey hero is Brett Hall. And then sweepstakes card Mike Richter Doug Gilmore Kurt McLean I have his autograph Dino Cicerelli we got some names here but not too many they ended quick okay here we have a Cliff Ronning that's hard to do is put cards there Pro set, we have Al Infernet. Something, I can't pronounce his name. Larry Murphy, Mark Jansen, John McLean, Brad Marsh, Paul Reinhardt, Ken Linesman, Rich Sutter, David something, Troy Murray, oh, I gotta flip it again, Patrick Flantley, I don't know who, how to pronounce his last name, Boschman. Mike McPhee, Patrick Sandstrom, Scott Young, Rob something, Brent Sutter, Jeff Brown, Dale Hunter, Murray Craven, Patrick Flately, Wendell Clark, Wendell Clark. Okay, now we have our draft picks. Let's hope for, here's the Brandemar. Put that one there to get sleeved. Yari Curry. And Mark Messier. Wayne Gretzky. Now we got another Wayne Gretzky. You guys like how I do that? I'm not, I just do it for fun. 
Brett Hall! Brett Hall! I'll put those there to get sleeve. Why not? Theo Fleury. Darian Hatcher's rookie card. And that'll work. That's about everybody. These are all 90s. Okay. There's another quick stack. Pro set. The James Norris Trophy. I don't know who that is, but it is a Tops card. And we have two nobodies that we don't know. No offense. 9091. There is a Ray Bork trophy winner. Luke Robitaille. Glenn Healy. Peter Savodola. I don't know how to pronounce his last name. Savoda. These go there. A couple pro set insert thingies. Russian Red Army Super Series. And we have Dmitry Matkov. I think this is another Urbe rookie. So that's pretty rad. And that is not Sergey. So we don't have Sergey. Rich Sutter, Randy Wood. Not as many upper decks as I thought we'd have, and more 90 score than I thought we'd have. I'm okay with 90 score. Paul Coffey. Mike Madonna, rookie card. Okay. Cam Neely and Rob Branamore. Very nice. Now, score, you can buy a complete set. Okay, like cards one through 600. Like, or it's 440 or something like that. And it's not really all that pricey. And it's not really all that high demand. Because, here's my Red Ar Army cards. Just because you can, it's there's no hunt involved really in my opinion. There's no hunt and no surprise. It's kind of like an investor box. And then nobody really, oh, uh, really opens them. Premiu, is this Premiu's rookie? He was one of 599's first round picks. I don't know. I have enough Premiu rookie cards though. Here's the Olin Nolan. I think that's a rookie. They're all rookies in the 90s. So there's their second year card. No mentionables there. Very Craven. Cool. All right. Well, what do you guys want me to do next? Put in the comments if you guys want me to do the Pavel Bure episode. I'm kind of waiting for the camera to get better to do that because the cards are better. And this is just something I have so much of. Um, we can sort Junk Wax Era and fill up YouTube with content. So... <laughs> Because once I'm done sorting them, and I have 5,000 of this, I'm going to take this, make a YouTube video of only these, and we're going to sort all of them. Make a big, huge bunch of sets. Probably five or six sets of these, maybe even ten. The last set sorting thing I did, which was 97 Tops Stadium Club of all brands, I had nine complete sets of them. So, I have them. If you want some stops, top stadium club, um, I have them. Uh, this is all before I started YouTubing. Probably one of the first $20 garage sale finds I did. It was just a huge thing of all of it. And all the inserts are in there. So tons of inserts from that year too. Um, I'll show you that collection here uh, one of these days. And I don't know if I should clean this mess up because I have more of the same stuff so I guess I'm gonna have to shorten the stacks down and I'll keep the stars there and we're gonna do a star sort and sleeve them all and 
that'll be it. Then we can do set sorting. So, anyways, I hope you guys had fun. Sorry if my content slow paced. I hope it isn't. Hope it's educational, and I hope you're having fun. So subscribe, and uh, I really appreciate all your guys' uh, time and your comments. So thank you very much. Have a great day. And uh, like I say every episode, I appreciate you guys, and I wish you guys a great rest of the night. So thank you much, and we will see you soon.